Rob's getting hugged, which must mean it's time to go. Uh, Paxton, should I just like conically a little like this for a while? If you are broke, yeah, <laughs> that oh, works. That does hurt, actually. Paxton, you're <laughs> fucking dumb, man. Pax impressions, you made it through alive. We, we, we survived. I survived two whole days on the floor. I'm sure you're as tired as anyone else right now. Yeah, and somehow my voice is shot, even though I've just been talking at a normal speaking volume. Right. Fiora? Fiora's coming with me to some appointments today. She's not done yet. I have not released her. I want a warm bed. I've not released her from captivity yet. Oh, give your wife a hug Check and figure out however horrible, perverted thing you want me to say I did and do it. So we, we were supposed to have... Um, we were supposed to have an 8.30 breakfast with Alex from Lucid Sound, but he's from England and may have forgotten daylight savings time is a thing, and we have a 10 a.m. So, that's not happening. Um, Sorry, Alex, we love you, but we have limits. Sorry. Yeah. Life happened. But yeah, Pax is a ton of fun. Um, tiring as hell. I'm going to sleep probably <laughs> I think we're all going to sleep on really Monday. well. I mean, I get home at 7, and I'm probably just going to call. I'm getting home like the same time as you. Because I have such a long layover in the morning. I'm going to have to buy, like, no video games for the rest of the year. They even gave me a key to Andromeda. You are such a liar. You did not get a Mass Effect key. Yes, I, I did. I actually well. entered it last night. It worked. I have Mass Effect Andromeda on Origin right now. Cutting that out of the, I'm cutting that out of the blog. <laughs> <laughs> title card. Right. Where's my Kitsuga title card? Hey, <laughs> where's your Kitsuga title card? It's in my pocket. <laughs> Hold on, we got our really high high quality. Hold on, it's not in the frame. It uh -huh. doesn't want to focus because it's like right in front of the lens. How about there? How's that? Well, basically, guys, that it, good enough. Basically, guys, as a postdoc, uh, everyone but Meow survived. Meow is off with some friends this morning. Uh, we're gonna see him again around noon today. Meow is dead to us. So. Uh, we're going to head out now back to the convention center because we have a 10 a.m., which is not very fun. I think we're going to Uber over because I don't think I want to fuck with shuttles. So we grab an Uber. It'll be like eight bucks. Rob, this is goodbye for Rob. He's going to head home. He has a, a long layover at LaGuardia today. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit in New York for like five hours. But, I mean, this has been a successful PAX, guys. We, we've seen a lot of great games. Favorite game you saw? I think I asked you this last night. It was like one in the morning and no one was awake. So... Uh, Again, there's just so much here. Rob can't do it. He's got to do a postdoc, so we'll have to figure it out. Oh, no. I mean, my favorite game that I saw was <coughs> Lawbreakers. No, no, I mean, it's everybody. I'm going to say that all the time. We're no, I mean, we'll, we'll do a best of packs. I'm sorry we didn't get to doing a live show on Saturday night, guys. We were tired. Sorry. Um, it is what it is. Pax, any convention is going to just run us ragged. We've done a live show, if not for daylight saving time. Yeah, I mean, I was still up at 1 o'clock last night, and I was yeah. like, Rob, we need to go to bed, because otherwise we're going to die. Yeah, you passed out, and then I, like, watched a couple of YouTube videos, and then I passed out, because I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll chill out a little bit, and then finish my article. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's the postdoc for Rob. I'll do the same thing for Fiora before I leave, probably in the press room. And then I'll do one for myself in the airport, guys. Um, thanks for came with, coming with us on our journey to PAX. Thanks for camming with us. Yeah, thanks for doing sex camming with us. He's <laughs> <laughs> going on camming with my postdoc as a follower. Nope, you don't get to do it till we're, in the, till we're at the fucking con center. And kitsuga.com, blah, blah, blah. What temperature is it? <laughs> Teeth are cold. <laughs> we're waiting in line to get into the PAX media line. And Fiora is so cold that she doesn't understand what English is anymore. <laughs> fuck your couch, your grandmother's couch, and your granddaddy's couch, and fuck Boston! <laughs> ow! Ow, my hair! Cut that part out, but it's not really that cold. I'll be fine. We are trigger devils, we make attachable trigger stops. They literally clip on and clip off on the PS4. The trigger stop is basically to perfection. We invented something called the rocker pad, which is a surface right here. It allows you to actually put your finger in a new position and you can push the trigger while also pushing the bumpers. So you can actually multitask using that, as well as just using the normal area. And the other feedback that we get is just it's way, way more comfortable. So we, all we do is this one trigger attachment product. And who are you? I am the owner and inventor of T Antonio. I created these for myself about 
a year or two years ago, and I started selling them, making them in my basement, and selling them at this event. It was my first event out of my backpack. Literally came here, just bought a badge, you know, like bootlegged a badge, and just sold them out of my backpack the first year. And then now we've got a booth, we've got, uh, you know, a professionally made clip on version. And I've got an amazing team, uh, just an amazing team. Meow made it back in. I did. It's the final day, and this is our basic end of the day for me because I gotta take a flight. Yep. Is it just gonna be me? Uh, uh, Fiora's here. So, yeah. how did your day go yesterday? Um, it went nothing, nothing really eventful. Um, we rode up Kalina Leg, or uh, you rode up one of those games? Yep. I rode up the uh, Pylon. Pylon? Uh, yep. And, uh, and today, yeah. today you're gonna see. Uh, and a fake too. And, a fake too. And, uh, and we're talking to Think Geek right now. We're talking to the Think Geek folks. These guys have some fantastic products. I'll show you really quick. These are mostly PAX exclusive, so you're going to be screwed if you don't have them. But... And we met with their wonderful PR manager who's standing right next to me. I found him. This is, this is Jonathan. He's the one who actually made the appointment. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I will leave you in her capable hands. She's very kind. This is my goodbye to Jonathan. So it was good to see you for the PAX. We will meet again in the soon days. And say goodbye to the vlog. Goodbye, vlog. So I'm headed out, but I found Chris from BoomZap. Hey! You may remember him from the long, long interview stream we did. Long ago. It was like an hour and a half stream, and it was like right before we, right after we started the company. Did we even have the Kitsuka name at that time? What? Uh, I don't remember if we had a name at that time or no, not. No, I don't think you did. We didn't have the name or the branding. No. So I, I brought Fiora for I... a meeting of the minds with Chris. Only do drugs prescribed to you. I put away my media badge. I have to go back to the hotel, get my bag, and go home. I leave our company in the capable hands of. Haha, uh -huh, you have to go home. The tank girl. Wow, that's that's how she says goodbye. She laughs at me. <laughs> After all we've been through together, she laughs. And now she's giving me conciliatory shoulder pets. She's just being salty. She has to leave. I am a little salty. At least I didn't have to leave when Rob did at fucking six a.m. or whatever. That's true. That's true. So, final packs wrap up. Fiora, what do you got? Um. Wait, Hand of Fate and, and and church and like a bunch of indie shit. We saw Hand of Fate too. It was pretty cool. Not my kind of game, but definitely you think you're on that game. And uh, we went to the Think Geek booth and uh, oh oh, Think and I, Geek has some really fantastic products. I got a key to raid. To raid? I don't know what that is, but okay. The Nazi killing game. It doesn't come out for a year, and it's free to play. Yeah, but I guess. I got stuff and things, and they made sure I hooked up. That's good. I don't know how you get a key for a free-to-play game. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the key's for. I think it's for stuff. Okay. Well, us and our, our Oh my god, close that door shirts. before I murder you. That's an excellent end of the vlog. Alright, so I'm back out into the snowy cold Boston. Thank you all for coming with us on this journey. I'll probably do a last wrap-up before we leave. Oh, I get a hug from Fiora. Oops. Oh, that's a good hug. That was a good hug. Any final words? Yay! I'm gonna go back and nerd out again. <laughs> I know I usually end on a shot out the front door, guys, but I'm leaving a little early this year, so we're doing an end shot for the vlog from one of the side escalators here. It's Sunday, and this is the most crowded I've ever seen a Sunday uh, at PAX. I've never really seen a Sunday where it's been this crowded before. I'm just gonna give you a quick pan. So we're in the middle of the show, like the, the true middle of the show here. Uh, and this is, you know, where all the all the best games are kind of, but you can see kind of all the way from like the arena, PAX Arena way in the back back there, all the way through Earthfall, Loot Crate, uh, DX Racer guys are over there, indie, and into the Indie Mega Booth, which is the yellow over there. It is just absolutely packed to the gills.